All right, 96.7 FM. Apparently we're in Oregon in 2018. That's the mood. I remember that night all too well. It was a clear night, not a cloud in the sky, stars lighting up the world around me. The only thing I could discern was the frankly jarring volume of fog enveloping the road. I was on my way back from a business trip I in Sacramento, no I was now taking the final stretch on the road back to my city residence. Portland. Ooh, Being Portland. alone in an automobile in the middle of rural Oregon, I was getting a bit bored. I decided to turn on the radio and see what was on. Maybe there would be a talk show or a sports play-by-play, -play or some conspiracy theorist I could laugh at. I can 360 no scope in the chair with no seatbelt. Wee. Okay. The radio flickered to life, only to emit static. Strange. From what I recalled, I was within range of most Portland radio stations by now. I started flipping through channels, hoping to find something. Eventually, I reached an outlier. Ooh, we're almost there. Here we go. Sounds. I still remember them vividly. A series of beeps getting louder and louder. Occasionally, a distorted voice would begin reciting random letters. As eerie as it was, and as much as I wanted to just turn off the radio and be done, my curiosity was piqued. I looked at the screen of the radio, glowing a dim orange. It read 96.7 FM. That's when. Well, I'll let it speak for itself. It's not saying much. <laughs> Apparently, I'll probably have to touch it again. What am I supposed to do? I swear to God, if someone just immediately materializes in this car, as I 360 no scope my way through around in. Okay. Now what? Okay. Okay. Uh, I totally did not miss that. Um, uh, is it following me? Is it in the trunk? Is it going to come climbing up and cover my eyes? Uh, there's another one and another one. Getting more frequent. Okay. There's one up in the trees. <laughs> what are these little robots? They look like robots, anyways. They could be wrong. Could be missed. Oh, there's one right there. I just totally missed that one. This one's hiding behind a tree. Uh, hello. So. Woo! 
you almost got run over there, Frogger. Hello. KZ. Hello. LP. Portland. Hello. Hello. I'm just going to greet everybody, apparently. Hello. Hello. trees no, no hello 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 you guys are gonna do something other than just stare at me on the road I've only had one of you brave enough to cross my path while I'm driving Wait, was that one close? Ah, uh, I didn't see that one in time. Hello? Oh, yay! One latched onto the car. Hello! <laughs> hey! D did I mention uh, no, no passengers, no hitchhikers? You guys can pound sand. I swear, he's up on the roof. He's gonna be like looking down at me upside down, like, hey, hello. Oh, I bet that one latched on. I bet that one latched on. And that's all she wrote. So that's what happened? Yes, ma'am. With all due respect, sir, that sounds ridiculous. I, I know, ma'am, but I swear on my life that's a series of events that occurred. I don't know who or what I hit that night, but it wasn't the person you found at the scene. All right, I think I've heard enough. Thank you for your time, Mr. White. Please remember everything said in this room today is on tape and will be presented in court. Goodbye. Okay, so his name is Mr. White. Well, Mr. White, you got yourself in a little bit of a conundrum there, uh, <laughs> hitting a pedestrian, I guess. But that would also beg, like, if those little figures represent a person, like, there were people in the woods, there were people in the car, I mean, there's there's all kinds of little factors involved. And then, of course, you know, it's, it's based on a true event. Just kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on a true event, but it didn't represent but, you know, the movie didn't represent anything like Ed Keen in real life. So, you know, embellishment. Um, overall, uh, interesting uh, interesting for a shortly made uh, game. Can't say there was a lot of interactivity. As you saw, I did my 360 no-scope for funsies um, just to test the limits of, you know, if we're able to look in the car that bad, uh, but are they going to get in the car? Obviously, they never did. So, kind of going to wrap things up here going to just say that you know it, it was fun for a one a once over uh, especially if you like those urban legends uh, 96.7 FM is one of those it's kind of proceeded from the, uh, the internet and yeah <laughs> hello little guy I guess they persist even in the trailer or uh, the uh, front screen anyways gonna go ahead and cut this short I kind of expect a little bit more interactivity but overall it was good for a story uh, kind of an interactive story I guess it was fun for a one 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 time through, but uh, obviously won't be doing it again. So I'll go ahead and leave it here. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit the thumbs up. If not, hit the thumbs down. Uh, I love comments. I try to interact with people when I can. Although I, you know I don't get a lot of comments, I'm still kind of a small small person in the internet. But hopefully it'll grow eventually. So I will see you all in the next video. And uh, until then, cheers.